Um, and I, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, the work that you're doing, Isaac? Well, I initiated uh, the idea of creating a sculpture to war resistors uh -huh. uh, and an event at a news conference in 2004 that got considerable media attention. There's a uh, wonderful history in Canada, uh, thanks to the assistance of Canadians uh, assisting Americans of conscience who were coming across the border mm -hmm. uh, during the Vietnam War. Uh, draft resistors, military deserters, mm -hmm. uh, back to the landers, and uh, the terrific support they provided helped Americans settle in Canada during the Vietnam War. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was the largest outward migration in U.S. history. Wow. Uh, and many settled in this area, so I came up with the idea of an event and, and the sculpture. The courage to stand apart from uh -huh. from um, the from the political push push and shove is, I think, what this sculpture is really about. Mm -hmm. To um, to uh, what be able to take take action on your something deep within mm -hmm. that's sincere and true to you, and not um, uh, sell out by the pressure of authority. Mm. So these people, uh, somehow the Americans are defying authority and the Canadian is uh, an experience, if it's the Duke of War, it's, has ex a lot of experience defying authority. Mm -hmm. so. Well, thank you so much for yeah. sharing it with us. Thank you. <laughs> I'm curious, uh, you know, if you could sort of share with us a little bit about what the, the differences between what happened years ago and, what, and what's happening today. Well, there's a lot of similarities. There's uh, many, many Canadians assisting mm -hmm. uh, deserters coming up right now during the Iraq War. Mm -hmm. uh, Americans who um, feel like they can no longer participate in, uh, in the military mm -hmm. in relationship to that conflict. The war in Canada, mm -hmm. um, and I think it's actually a great opportunity for uh, Americans came up during the Vietnam War to share what they learned from that experience, because mm -hmm. uh, in many respects this is Canada's Vietnam. Um, I've, I, I've really been wanting to talk about the role that uh, our provincial government could play in making BC an advocate for peace around the world, um, and you know, I, I'm interested in talking about uh, you know, banning recruitment on campuses and, uh, and you know, what, what steps we can take to, to make um, you know, BC a, a voice for uh, you know an understanding of multiculturalism and uh, you know and, and what steps we can take to protect our civil rights and these sorts of things that are also part of this this bigger picture. Yeah, that's terrific. Yeah, um, really, really glad to meet you and great to have this opportunity to you know, connect with your interest mm. around this as well and support for it. Well, I hope. Really uh, you know, when we when we came out here to Nelson, we really wanted to, to find this sculpture, and it just kind of found us, I guess. And um, yeah, it's just really a powerful piece, and um, I think British Columbia should be should be a um, an advocate for peace in the world. I don't think that this is just a federal issue. I think it's it's an issue that touches everybody. And I mean, right in on, on our campuses, uh, at the college and high school level, I mean, kids are being recruited into a war in Afghanistan that. You know, some people say is breaking international laws, and you know, is is definitely costing costing lives, right? You know, of, of people from British Columbia who you know are, are heading out over there to to take part in a war that, I mean, uh, you know, I think Gandhi said it best: "War is a failure of humanity." Right? And so, wow, it's just it's an honor to be here, and, and I hope we can can help support this this work.